This is the G2 Ultra. Some of the common issues are stiff slit control mechanism, stiff diaphragm and filter wheels, a loose body, and a stiff prism rot rotation. We're going to take these apart and clean them and relube them. Okay, I've taken off the slit lamp from Allen here. And if you were just going to tighten the body up, underneath here there are two set screws that hold this graduated ring. Two set screws. You would loosen those and then this graduated ring could turn and you could tighten. There's three Phillips. One on each side and one in the middle that you would tighten and that would tighten your body up. Now we're going to go in deeper and take off the cover. Two screws that hold on your heat shield. Take those off. You have two screws holding this plate. Take those off. You have two studs holding this lamp housing on. Get your crescent. Unscrew these. We'll remove this bottom screw holding the wire harness on. Now in here, take off this E-clip right there. Take off your E-clip with a small screwdriver. Like this. Take off your filter wheel. There's a washer on both sides of this and your arm that puts the pressure on your detents. I'll have to move that down. Slide your filter wheel off. Notice the brass washer on there. There will be a brass washer on the other side or it will be on your diaphragm wheel there. To get the diaphragm wheel you'll have to hold back the other arm at the same time. Pull that wheel off too. Might be a little tricky. You'll get it off. Next point is take out four screws. I've already taken three of them out. This is the fourth one. Put those four screws out. This assembly should come on out. We need to clean this cam and the tube behind it. This grease that's on this gear out here, that's probably okay. You don't need to really clean that. It's probably fine. To be able to take this gear and cam off, you have to take off this outer nut and it is held on by held tight by a lock screw. You'll need a small jeweler screwdriver to take that off. This one is a one mil 
that's small enough to take it off, unscrew it. I've got another one that I'm going to show you. I've already loosened that off. Your cam and gear assembly will come off. And this is probably the root of your stiff slip as the grease right around this tube has gotten stiff as well as the surface inside your cam has gotten stiff and also the cam track on the inside has gotten stiff you need to clean those I use lighter fluid to clean them. When it's time to re-lube, we prefer to use the hog stripe grease number nine. It's a, it's a thicker grease than other greases and you need a, a thicker grease to give it a little bit of tension. If your grease is too thin, it's not going to be enough tension and your slits are going to want to close by themselves. Now you can try to use something inexpensive like Seal Glide, but it's not going to be as thick as your number nine and you may have trouble with the, the jaws wanting to close by themselves. Now we can try to address that by tightening the knob control, which I'll show you that in a second. But with the correct grease, I've re-greased these. This is how this works. These bearings follow the, the cam track. They go in and out, opening up your slip. Once I have re-lubed everything, back on, put your locking ring back on, Tighten it up. Don't forget to set your, tighten your set screw. And probably it originally had some type of fingernail polish or something on there to hold it. And you would have had to have loosened that with some acetone. Otherwise you, you would not have been able to unscrew it without totally demolishing the screw. So be sure to get some acetone and loose. Put some on that lock screw so that it would be you would be able to turn it to loosen it to take it off. That's pretty important. Okay. So we put everything back on, tighten it up. While you're here, you could clean your slits. While you have the body off, you could clean your mirror inside there. We would take those three screws off. The graduating ring, we could completely remove the body. Here's your graduating ring. This is called the rotation ring. 
These aren't normally stiff, but they may, might be. To address that, you would need to get your spanner wrench, take off this lock nut, there's a screw, safety screw right here, a Phillips, you'd need to take out and you could pull off this rotation ring. But when you do, you have to be careful that right here behind this rotation ring is a spring and a little bearing. And that addresses your detent. So if you take that, take that off, clean it, and re-lube it, when you put it back on, you have to make sure your spring and your bearing is in there first before you can put your, your rotation ring. Then you put your screw back in, safety screw, and you put your locking nut back on there tight with your spanner wrench. So we put our body back on, put our three screws back in. There again, probably don't need to address that grease. It's probably still good. If this, if this was still stiff, then you would probably need to take it apart. Now there is a way you can tighten and loosen this knob control underneath. Not only have your hole for your harness screw, but there's a, an additional hole that in here is a set screw. You need a really small Allen wrench. Loosen the set screw, but hold it in there. Yeah, after you loosen, you hold it so that you can now turn your knob axle either to loosen it or to tighten it while you're holding this. And if you turn it a little bit, tighten it back up, check it. If it's still too stiff, you could try to loosen it some more. If it's still too stiff, it probably needs to be clean. But if it were too loose, same thing. Put your Allen in there, loosen it, screw your shaft while you're holding that, and then tighten it up and check it. This should not be totally free. You do need some, you need some tension on here. Don't make it so loose. If so, your your slit's gonna close by itself. But this should be fine. How it is. This grease on here should be should be fine. A lot of this is off already because I've been messing with it. But try not to wipe off that grease. So our gear mechanism. You may have to turn your axle a little bit to make it fall into place. Install your four screws. If you go ahead and install your screw to hold your wire harness, keep it out of the way. Clean your diaphragm wheels with some acetone, reassemble. Hold your arms out of the way, two fingers. Make sure you have cleaned the shaft of the old grease and re-lubed it with a thin layer of grease. Install your diaphragm wheel first. Hold those arms. 
You can release that one. Should be turning freely. Either put your washer on, back on there, since it's already on the back of here. It would probably be loose because you already cleaned it. Put your washer there. Continue holding this arm. Put on your filter wheel. And you can release the arm. Put your E-clip back on. Put our light assembly back in position. Install your two studs. Install your plate over your studs. Two screws. Install your heat shield back on. And your cover.